Hi, it's Diane at Capadia Designs and I wanted to show you how to resize a design that you make using the Design Studio software. In the older versions of the program, it wasn't possible to resize and keep elements together when you turn them at various angles or um, use multiple elements in separate boxes, but you can do it with the current version of the Design Studio software and I'm going to show you how. I thought I'd choose a very simple example of making a frame out of four elements and I went to the Cindy Lou cartridge which has lots of nice elements to choose from. Here's the particular one I chose. It's uh, two flowers leaning into each other and I thought that if I rotated this and put um, four of these together it would make a pretty frame. So let me show you how I did that. I started with just one element at two inches. It doesn't really matter what size because I can change that around. And I'm going to zoom into 100% view here so you can see better. So I simply took this element, copied and pasted it, and then rotated it 90 degrees. Sometimes that takes a few clicks. And then I carefully uh, moved this so that the little leaf parts would line up just like that. You can see how that's close together there. Then I did that again, paste, and this time I turned it twice and pulled that down. Let me just pull my screen down a bit, like so, and lined those up just right at that little point. And then to make it a little quicker, I'll just copy and paste the side one, copy, paste, and turn it twice, and then uh, use my side dragging arrow and just pull it over here and there we go I've got that lined up so let's look at the whole thing it's a nice little frame which you could use either on a scrapbook page or a card at this size it doesn't really fit a card so what we need to do is resize it to fit uh, a standard card and I've already gone ahead um, deciding that this would be good for a square card and I made myself a guideline using just a square from George. This is just to help me visually see what size I'm going to make the, the design. So if I go back to my page where I've got my four Cindy Lou pieces, I just put my cursor f away from these boxes outside of the boxes that surround each element and I drag it down until they all have those little circles and then when I release the last element that I added will also have um, handles and those handles work just the same way as they do when you're working with just a single element. The important thing you have to remember now is that in order to resize everything and keep them in the positions you place them in you need to hold down the control key on your computer keyboard. So push down the control key and then you can just use the um, proportional resizing button and, um, handle and then just pull it down. I don't have my preview on yet so let's just go ahead and um, sometimes what I do is I just take this square and I keep it on the same page as I'm working um, but for previewing purposes it's actually easier just to have it on a separate page. So let's preview and see how this looks right now. My elements a little bit too small and if I go into 100% and preview again you'll be able to see that it's pretty small for the cart. So while I'm still in preview and I have that square showing, I'll just drag around the whole thing again, um, hold down my control key, I'm going to uh, pull it out a bit and just see if I can get it to fit nicely on the cart. And let's preview that. And you can see, if you look on the preview page where nothing else shows, that I've got a design that will just fit nicely on my square card. I'm going to push Control L to clear the preview. And the last thing that you have to remember to do, I left it in color there, which means it was not welded, just so you could see the preview. But let's change this background color to a lighter color, maybe this uh, light blue. And I'll change the color for my well, I don't need to worry about the color here because now we're going to weld it. Um, so just once again, take your cursor, drag so that you include all the items in the design. Go up here and click your weld button. And then when you preview, you'll see that you have a design that is welded and is sized correctly for your card. 
So that's all there is to it. It's super simple, um, much, much better than the older version of Design Studio. The only problem is that, unfortunately, I have not been able to figure out a way that you could copy and paste that entire design. So if you want to make multiples of this, you will have to repeat the process. If you don't want to have to go and repeat it over and over again, the other simple thing that you can do is just um, drag around, bring this up, and to just move it, you don't need to hold down the control key. That's only when you're resizing, but you can put it up in the top left corner of your mat. Go ahead and cut that design, and then while it's still um, the, while the mat is still in your machine, just pay attention to your lines there, and then just slide this whole thing over, and press cut again, and then I'm not sure if we can fit three here. You'd want to figure this out a little bit ahead of time, but you can slide it over again, and if another one will fit, you could cut it again, and then just keep that process going. So you will be sitting at your computer a little longer, but you don't have to actually copy and paste, and it probably will go a little faster this way, because each time you cut, it only has those four elements. Um, it's not an entire mat full of elements that need to be copied. So you can see what I'm doing is if each time I do this, I would cut, and then I would just move it over to an area of the cardstock that's not used, cut again, and so forth. So those are two quick tips that I hope will make your life working with Design Studio a bit easier. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email or visit my blog and leave a comment. Capedia Designs blogspot.com was my old address and it's actually now um, capediadesign.com either way you will find it so have a very nice week and I hope to see some designs that you make using this tip